It's somewhere I wanted to go, like, ever since I started playing basketball. Like, I liked the program, and it fitted me as I was, you know, progressing. And then I wanted to stay, like, stay close to home. It's been a while since, you know, something like this has happened for my hometown, and I just want to represent and make sure that, you know, I don't disappoint. In high school, I would only do one thing. It was just be like posting up, and then turn around, and jump hook. That's pretty much all the things I used to do in high school. But now that I'm, you know, in college, I'm, you know, working on facing up, shooting a jumper, and all that. I'm working on a lot of things. Adam, you know, he doesn't put weight on me pretty much. It's because like I came in a solid 217, now I'm like 233. Adam, he knows how to push people. He knows how to push people past their limits. For me, it's just I want to come in off the bench and just dominate on the boards pretty much. I don't care about scoring. You know, I just want to get the boards, run the floor like I always do. You know, I score when I score pretty, pretty much for me. Uh, the mindset is mostly, you know, get, be better than last year. You know, bring lots of energy. Each and everybody have to bring something more to the table this year than what they did last year. I'm trying to improve on shooting the ball, ball handling, uh, being that little leader. You know that that's under the seniors. You know that you know they keep kind of keep the guys on, on the right pace. Don't nobody know who I am yet. And uh, my goal is you know let people know who I am, whether it's playing or on or off the court. I want you to know who I am. They lob it to Bailey and he throws it down. I feel like it, this is an important summer because you know coming off the the you know the loss to North Carolina, people kind of know who I am a little bit. So I don't, I don't want them to you know to say okay he had, he had a, a good game against North Carolina, but can he? play a whole season like that. And I'm gonna let them know, yes, I can. I'm gonna put in the work. We got like a little taste of what that feels like. And then, you know, everybody want that feeling again. I've been a Razorback fan since I was little. And I, it was a dream of mine to come play for the Razorbacks. I want to be somebody that coach can count on to be more assertive on the offensive end as well as on the defensive end. I know uh, I passed a lot last year, but I want to be able to put the ball in the hole a little bit more this year and uh, just go out and do whatever they need me to do. As a kid, I was always taught just to uh, not be selfish, not to be a ball hog, and just make the right play. So I just took that, and as I grew older, uh, God gave me good vision. I just had great vision, and my teammates do a good job of getting open, and I just try to hit them when they're open. We was right there, uh, a few plays, and uh, maybe we we go to Sweet 16, but um, I think this year we'll be ready more than last year. We can control what we can control, and. That's just the next day. Uh, God willing, we get a chance to wake up and do what we love. We just go in the weight room and give it all we got, or go on the court, give it all we got, and just live with the results. We got six seniors, and uh, we know this is our last go round, and we saw how uh, Manny, Moses, and Dusty went out, and uh, I think we want to go out on an even higher note, and uh, one of them. I think last year we surprised a lot of people. We probably surprised ourselves a little bit. I learned from Moses and Manny and Dusty last year. It was just fun having the great group guys we had, especially with those three. This time period last year, I was just coming in. I was just trying to learn, trying to figure out my role in the team. And now it's just everybody looking up to me and just see what's got to be done or what coach would like for them to do and stuff like that. So just teaching and helping people, and especially the freshmen, I helped them a lot. So just to take on that role and just help people out, it just feels great. They steady learning and we steady learning them, so I think with the way, when we come together as, as one, we're gonna be a great team this year. Bud Walton's probably one of the best arenas I've played in in my lifetime, so I think it's even gonna be even more packed this year, and more lively, the fans are great, and it's just a great environment. Honestly.